Hi everyone, welcome back. I've dipped in a few hobbies, and one of them was oil painting. Seriously, talk about expensive. <laughs> but one of the things I loved about oil paints was their ability to hold shape. Impasto is a technique in which paint is applied so thickly it stands out from the canvas, giving the illusion that the object is coming out of the surface of the painting. So for this rainbow card, I'm using Altenu embossing paste and creating a focal element that is going to literally stand out of the card. Ever since joining the Altenu Educator Certification Program, I've started building my collection of paper crafting materials, one of them being inks and colors besides pink, blue, and gray. Altenu has a wide variety to choose from, so I treated myself during a sale and now I can proudly make a card featuring the full visible spectrum. I'm using this Altenu Mega U alphabet die to make a stencil. I will do this by die cutting this letter out of white cardstock in the location I want the letter U to be in. In my case, it'll be right in the center. I'm setting aside the positive piece and working with the negative. Since both panels are A2 size, 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half, I'm going to overlay the new stencil over a clean white panel. I'll use a non-permanent tape to tack both panels together before getting the embossing paste ready. I took a scrap piece of stamp packaging and smushed the ink pads into the plastic. I do this just for easy cleanup. I won't read all the colors that I used, but I do have a full Altenew material listing on my blog and in the description box below. These are affiliate links, and I greatly appreciate your support for my channel. You'll see that I'm using the deepest shade and the family of inks along the top of your screen. Next, I'll take a generous helping of the Altenew embossing paste and lay it next to the ink. Now, I'm going to speed this up a bit because you don't need to see me mixing for 30 years. I'll basically start mixing the embossing paste with the ink. I don't really care if I get small white streaks while I'm mixing because I know I'll be manipulating the embossing paste further once it hits the paper. Now some colors were not as intense as I would like, so I took another scrap piece of plastic and smushed more ink into it, just so I didn't accidentally contaminate the ink pad. I am going in a particular order of brightest to darkest ink shade, just so I don't have to leave my project to fully clean my palette knife. I can just give it a good wipe with a paper towel before going on to the next color, and not worry about accidentally contaminating my colors. Now that I've mixed the inks with embossing paste, I'm going to begin using the stencil I made and laying a rainbow in stripes across the letter die. I quickly noticed that I severely overestimated the amount of embossing paste I needed, so luckily I have scrap A2 panels immediately in reach. So I just started slathering the embossing paste and stripes onto these as well. I'm not wasting anything, and the more cards I can make in one go, the happier I am. While the embossing paste is still wet, I'm going to remove my stencil and reveal the thick rainbow letter. You'll notice that I didn't take the time to smooth out embossing paste like you normally would with a stencil. This is the look I'm really going for in the final card. If you wait too long to remove the stencil, you'll run the risk of adhering the stencil to your panel, but I'm thrilled with all the results that I got from the texture paste, and I'll set these aside to dry. I'm definitely not throwing away the negative piece to the stencil because it'll make a great second card. Once the embossing paste dried, I noticed some of the colors merged too well with one another, most notably the red and orange stripes, but not to worry, I'll use some very sloppy ink blending on top of the texture paste to bring back some of the intensity I lost. I had to set these aside to dry a second time because the embossing paste needs to absorb the ink again. Believe me, I learned this the hard way after transferring the ink from the texture panels to other panels I intended to keep white. After all the panels were dry, I made some very clean and simple arrangements. On some of the panels, I trimmed down the rougher bits and rounded the corners with the We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile Punch. For the main card showcasing this die cut stencil technique, I cut the word love with the Altenu Fine Alphabet die set in black cardstock. I stacked them three layers high and placed this over the U rainbow. For the negative piece, I used the Altenu Delicate Flower Bed Sentiment, Smile, It Looks Good on You, and I repeat this stamp vertically on my panel and use the negative space as a window for the sentiment. For one of the plain panels, I made a simple rainbow scene with the positive piece to my original stencil and the sentiment Be Yourself from the Dainty Swiss Dot stamp set from Altenew. Lastly, I fussy cut the sentiment from the Altenew Painted Greeting stamp set and foam mounted it above the last rainbow panel. 
And that's how I accidentally made four cards instead of one. <laughs> I hope you enjoy all these wonderful rainbow cards. This card is my project submission to the Altenew Academy class Celebration Stencil Techniques taught by Laurel Beard. I have an affiliate link below if you would like to take the class for yourself and learn something new. If you like what you've seen from me, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a future video. Thank you all so much for the comments you leave on YouTube, IG, and my blog. Even though I may not directly respond, I read all of them, and I greatly appreciate the time you take to make me feel so special. Talk to you all very soon, and have the best day.